what's going on YouTube I am back with another video yeah guys it has been a long time not really a long time it's been a few weeks since I put up a video We're good, streaky! Yeah! the reason for that is because I am now back at college for my sophomore year at James Madison University beautiful college uh, kind of weird though because we were actually in national news recently because uh, of some decisions that were made by some um, some higher ups <laughs> to basically uh, bring us in for a week and send us home. I actually get to stay because I just got a job as a uh, police cadet with the uh, police department on campus, so I'll be learning the ropes of that pretty soon. But I do want to apologize for not getting out a video sooner. I um, I just been crazy busy. Any of you who've been to college know exactly how it is. I mean, I've got tons of assignments. I want to catch up with friends. I got to worry about Corona. Um, you know, this and that all over the place. I have been busy. Um, haven't been investing too much. Haven't been selling too much. I mean, I probably came down like 90% from what I was selling to now, I'm probably at like a 10% of what I was selling. Like I've sold two things since I've been at college and I was selling things almost every other day for about a month plus on eBay. And obviously I collect too, I'm not just a dealer. Like for example, in the background, I got my trout set up all pretty. Um, you know, I love my trouts and stuff. I don't sell that stuff, but I sell the things I don't like to get the things I do like. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Um, but with that being said, today I'm actually going to talk about collecting and protecting your cards in college. Um, this could also work just for someone who's moving or temporarily staying somewhere, but this is a great video for kids my age in high school going to college or already at college. This is how I protect and collect. Um, I'll get more into that in a, in a couple minutes, but... Uh, Again, do want to apologize. I will be trying to get more videos and breaks up in the near future, obviously, but um, I can't promise anything. You know, I've got work now. It's about to start up. I am already in classes. I mean, I'm recording this on a Sunday at 4 o'clock. I've already tried to record this before, but I just didn't like how it uh, came out. But, yeah, guys, so uh, thank you for you know clicking on the video and sticking by me i really appreciate it i would really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe to the channel um it would mean a lot to me and give me some motivation to take some time out of my day and make some videos i do want to say really quick before i get going um on the video itself um that i have a pete alonzo tops x box coming in i will be doing a break on that i believe and uh, I will eventually go out to the Walmart and Target in my area in Harrisonburg. Um, I just haven't had time. <laughs> I mean, that's it. I mean, and you also kind of need to know around about the time that the vendor for Walmart or Target show up so you can actually get something that's even worth ripping. Um, you guys know it's a tricky process, and I have been lucky over the summer to score many times. Um, after getting to know pretty much when uh, the vendor will come to my local retail store. So, all right, guys, I'm not going to ramble anymore. Let's get into the video. This is how I collect and protect my cards when I'm at college. All right, guys, so first off, I got to show this big hefty thing. It is a Sentry Safe. Uh, it's like tw uh, 25 or some odd dollars, somewhere in there. It is a fireproof it's kind of a briefcase it's a little smaller than a briefcase it's actually pretty darn heavy it's like oh maybe 25 pounds or so somewhere in there and uh it's great though if it's your cards it has a lock of course this lock is not going to protect from some burglar robber or whatever that is really motivated trust me this is not going to keep him out i've there's literally a youtube video up on uh youtube of a, like a nine year old literally taking like a freaking like pick or something and he's just like he opened it and like 
not even a minute. So <laughs> that's not the point of this. I mean, it will protect if somebody's like just, you know, trying to pull a fast one on you, but it's best if you're in college just to kind of hide this almost in your room, not necessarily hide it, but put it in a safe place. And this is also fireproof, so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, a fire destroying your cards. I would also recommend this if you aren't even at college. I would recommend this for your bigger cards. Something along this, I mean, a safe, but this is one of the cheaper options, and it's pretty sturdy. I mean, this thing is a brick. Um, to give you an idea, this is my hand, and that is how big it is my hands like average size maybe it's a little big but not that big um, and yeah so that just gives you an idea of the size um, but yeah I'll open it up real quick and I'll show you guys uh, the inside uh, and then I'm gonna get on to the collecting part after I finish up this protecting part alright guys so it's opened up uh, just simply I have a key on uh, a lanyard that I have with a couple other keys like my dorm and stuff um, but basically in here you can see that I just put in like I don't know exactly what this count of boxes it's bigger than the 300 not sure if it's quite a 600 but I fit some of my decent cards or cards that I have on eBay or just sentimental to bring with me for whatever the reason I keep them in here got like some Robert rookies and just whatever stuff in there I'll skip some of my uh, eBay stuff, like I said. Uh, like this is on eBay, my MJ relic. Um, also keep some of my investment stuff in here, which I'll talk about in a minute separately. Oh, there's a hair on that. Did I get it? Probably. Uh, but Jake Cronenworth, if you don't know him, look him up. <laughs> He's probably gonna win Rookie of the Year. Guy's going off oh, along with a lot of the Padres right now. So this is a lot of his base. Uh, 2015 Bowman draft and that's his only card that is out there. He has no rookie card. That's it. He doesn't even have an auto out yet. It's just his uh, chrome and paper Bowman draft. So it's a lot of 10 right there. But yeah, I keep my trout in here when I'm not displaying it. I keep like in here. I also have like a Bowman first edition pack that I've kept since I got it. Um, I just keep some of my better stuff. Not necessarily my best, but yeah, I, actually I would say my best. I ain't calling you a truther. There's only a couple cards that are huge that I don't uh, put in here, and that's because they're displayed back at home. But, yeah, guys, so that's how I protect my cards, and I would recommend that. I do want to mention really quick that if you're really into protecting your cards and you want to go even more in-depth than this, and I'm actually considering, considering it myself, I would consider, if I were you, to get insurance on your collection depending how much it's worth I think if it's around three thousand dollars I've gone through a couple insurance companies that insure collectibles and stuff along those lines and it's about fifteen or so dollars a year was one of my estimates I I'm pretty sure that's what it was something along the like uh, right along that line so I think it's worth it if you can spend twenty dollars on a blaster box I think you can pay fifteen dollars to protect a mediocre level collection and I um I uh I'm I mean my collection I don't even know it's probably five six grand or something like that right now what I have um so yeah I think it'll be worth it in the long run to get this all insured but all right enough rambling let's get on to how I collect in college all right, guys, so I'm back with the collecting segment. So in college for collecting, it is tricky because, for example, in my own case, you're going to have to pay for textbooks, Ubers, food sometimes if you don't have a dining plan, and you got to worry about your loans after college. So I am very careful. I tend not to spend as much when I'm actually at college as when I'm home for the summer or whatever. I... um. I'm very careful with my investments and this is also for new collectors out there be very careful please don't spend a, like a few hundred dollars on a player that you barely know you need to know the game to get into collecting you need to know the history you need to know who's big who's not who could be on the rise and yes take risks but don't blow your wallet <laughs> um, I haven't necessarily blown my wallet before but I've been close um, on some investments and uh, 
Yeah, so just be safe with that. Um, as far as going out to stores, kind of get to know some people in the area. Hopefully, and I've done it a hundred times, it could be a Monday, it could be a Friday. I'll go to Walmart and I'll be at the card section for five minutes and somebody will come up that may or may not know more than me on when the stalker uh, or the stalking people will uh, come by at what point of the week. Just ask. They usually don't care. They'll tell you. Unless I have run into some people that will lie to you. There are liars in this hobby. <laughs> Let me tell you. I've run into them. I've seen borderline fights at Walmarts and stuff. And that's not what I'm about. I do resell a little bit. But I am mostly a collector at heart. I resell cards for the most part. Sealed stuff. It's got to be basketball. I really don't resell baseball much at all. Um, basketball I still even open to it sometimes. So... Just be careful. Um, that's all I have to say. Don't, you know, be very polite and uh, try to get to know people in your area. A good way to do that is through Instagram, asking around, um, and just being there in person. And, uh, you can actually find some people at college that do collect cards. It's um, actually, there are some out there. And of course, there's tons of sports fans. So if you're kind of interested in sports or whatever, then just honestly make some friends i i mean i found i'm avid in the sports and memorabilia and stuff obviously but i was uh pretty well educated uh my freshman year about some stuff i had no clue about especially with basketball basketball i knew just the basics like lebron's big michael jordan you know kobe blah blah but then probably around covid time i started really listening and researching and watching highlights and stuff like that on basketball and uh it actually did help me in the long run like uh, right now i'm investing in tyler hero i think he's going to be really good i mean the heater up at this time three nothing on the bucks i believe um and i have loved tyler hero since i started watching his highlights last year or a couple years ago actually um if you watch his high school highlights on youtube you can find them pretty easy i mean tyler hero is just special all right that's all i can say i really like watching him but uh yeah guys that's how i collect i just collect carefully when i'm at college yeah i'm not afraid to spend 20 bucks online on a favorite player of mine like i just picked up a nice auto of a future hall of fame pitcher i might do a mail day on that so i'm not gonna give too much away on that but um yeah, guys, just be careful. That's all I got to say. That's for new collectors, old collectors. Don't get in too deep to where you're investing so much and your return isn't going to come back for a long time, if ever. Um, and what I mean by that is say you invest in <laughs> here, Jordan Yamamoto, the My Miami Marlins new pitcher. Say you invest in him. Why you would invest in him, I don't know. He has so many autographs out there, it's ridiculous. But my point is, say you invest in him. You pick up an auto number to 50 from like Topps Chrome or something of him for $30, $50, I don't know. And say you think that it's going to be $100. Well, Jordan isn't pitching that well. <laughs> he uh, blows out his arm, and he's already not pitching well in reality. But he's not doing too well. And now you're out, and that card's down to $20. You just lost probably $20, $30 if you try to resell it. Or you might just hold on to it, and you might be out the full $50 or whatever. So you've really just got to be careful in who you're investing in. Listen to people. There's a lot of podcasts, YouTubers that will talk about who is the good investment, kind of get you ahead of the curve, what's a safe bet, what's a cheap bet, and what is for the big time, big money investor. And it's okay if you're not that. Trust me, I'm not. So just be careful with your money, guys. I really appreciate you watching this video. That's how I protect and collect my cards in college. I'm just very careful. I, um, I try to enjoy it the best I can and not make it a job. To where I'm trying to split two things at once. It's okay to put something down in life. I haven't put it down. I, as a matter of fact, I've loved watching YouTube and looking at different videos while I've been off for a few weeks uh, without an upload. But yeah, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me and not unsubbing yet. Um, yeah, guys, I can't promise when I will be back with another video, but I'm going to try within the next week to get one up. 
So yeah. All right, guys. Take care. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe. You know the drill. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys. Take care. Thank you.